Picture taken aboard Delta Flight 1043 from D.C. to Minneapolis Friday. That is Congressman Pete Stauber. Behind him, Mike Siebenheller, a Twin Cities resident who is not pleased with Delta nor the congressman. Then to board that plane on top of it where you're going to potentially put people at risk, that's just... That's incomprehensible to me. I can't believe that they did that. On Wednesday, Minnesota Congressman Tom Emmer, Pete Stauber, and Jim Hagedorn greeted the president in Minneapolis, flew on Air Force One to and from Duluth, and attended the president's rally there. Two days later, the three men boarded the nearly half-full Delta Airlines flight. Stauber told CARE 11 he had tested negative for COVID twice in 72 hours and that due to a low risk of exposure, a doctor at the Capitol cleared him to travel, as did Delta, which corroborated Stauber's story. Hagedorn said on Facebook, quote, according to CDC guidelines and Delta's policy, Congressman Emmer, Stauber, and I followed the rules. We were not exposed to COVID, 15 minutes and within six feet of close contact, and we were tested and received negative results prior to flying home to Minnesota yesterday, end quote. Siebenauer says, and Delta confirms, the passengers were delayed an hour inside the plane before takeoff while the airline checked to clear the congressman for travel. He says Delta did not inform passengers that there were people on board who had exposure, even for a short time, with others who ended up testing positive. Why were you at a rally without a mask on and not socially distanced? And then tell me when you're boarding my plane 48 hours later that you've passed all of these tests and therefore you're going to be fine to fly. When we all know, it doesn't show up right away. I don't want to spread this to anybody. I have a conscience. Siebenhaller is now in self-quarantine, he says, until a test and time tell him he cannot spread the virus. Minnesota Department of Health said anyone in direct contact with the president should quarantine for two weeks. Anyone at the Duluth rally should limit social interactions and get tested five to seven days afterward and 12 days as well.